In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to find the vector between two points. Consider the points A, which has the coordinates 2 and 3, B, negative 1 and 4, and C being 0 and negative 3. Find the vector AB, which is the vector between points A and B. I want to start by creating a Cartesian plane to represent these three points. Here's my Cartesian plane. We have the point A at 2 and 3, which is over here, and the point B at negative 1 and 4, and the point C being at 0 and negative 3. So they want the vector that spans from A over to B. The order in which this is written is important because the way that this is written tells us that we start at A and end at B. So to find the components of the vector that represents this arrow, and we'll call that vector AB, to find the components of AB, we have to subtract the coordinates of A from that of B, not the opposite way around. So it's very important that you follow the order in which these letters are written. So we subtract the coordinates of A from B. For the x-coordinate, we'll say negative 1 minus 2. And for the y-component, 4 minus 3. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So the components of the vector that spans a to b is negative 3 and 1. Now had you ignored the fact that we start at a and end at b, your components would be the opposite, where it would be positive 3 and negative 1, and that would not be correct. Let's try the next one. Find the vector that spans between a and c. So let's go ahead and create that vector. There it is. We start at a and end at c. I'll do the answer, so this is A and this is B. We'll subtract the coordinates of A from that of C. I'll write down the vector has the components 0 minus 2 and negative 3 minus 3. Zero minus two is negative two. And negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. That represents the components of that vector. And finally, a vector that spans between B and C. So we start at B and end at C. I'll write the answer down over here. We'll subtract the coordinates of B from that of C, starting with the x components, 0 minus negative 1. 0 minus negative 1 and negative 3 minus 4. Negative 3 minus 4. We should end up with positive 1 and negative 7. Now the nice thing about doing this is that if you wanted to center your vectors at the origin, you can do so by plotting where these points are. For instance, if I plotted negative 3 and 1, that would be over here. That would represent one of my vectors. And it would mean the exact same thing as if it were up here. If I plotted this vector, we would be at negative 2 and negative 6. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the vector AC is the one that I am graphing right now. That's the exact same thing as that. And the same applies if I were to graph BC. BC would have the coordinates 1 and negative 7, which would mean somewhere over here. There it is. So let me go ahead and erase those to prepare for question D, which says, draw the three vectors that you found above. And I've done that already. Notice that we have these black arrows that represent those vectors as well as three other vectors that go from the O to A. O represents origin. So I will 
do that first one. O to A is right there. O to B is over here. And O to C is that one. And there you have it. Now you know how to find vectors between two points.